another video. I know, ooh, my necklace. Sorry. Anyways, um, so this is going into the new year. Um, it's not New Year's yet. It's about to be like New Year's in like six hours or whatnot. But anyways, um, I am featuring da -da -da -da, the new. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh yeah, I'm very. I'm like uber hyped up with this right now. Like. Um, because I'm not late on it, and I, like, grabbed it as soon as it hit, like, the shelves, but I am missing one. This video is solely, specifically, t um, to feature this certain product that I, um, recently showed on Instagram. I, like, as, when I say recently, I mean, like, I just posted it, like, an hour ago. Yeah! It is the new, the new, 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 uh, Maybelline, um, Color Sensations are sensationals in um, the line The Buff. Uh, if you are familiarized with The Vivids, I I swear by The Vivids and these are The Vivids itself. I just pulled a random one. This one's in Brazenberry. Like, I used it. And um, I guess the most popular question or the most frequent asked question is to show swatches. So I guess I will go ahead and do swatches right now for y'all. So on my lips right now is Bare It All. Um, it is freakishly bare. Um, as you can tell, like, it looks like a concealer on my lip. Um, uh, for my complexion, um, it doesn't really work for my complexion at all, actually. It kind of freaks me out. Um, but I probably would use this in, like, a lot of, um, pictorials or even just to film or even I could wear it with um, paired up with a lip a deeper lip liner or um, a like more vibrant lip gloss so that it, it just looks like a concealer on my lips and it kind of makes me look like I'm yeah, there. that is 9 or 910 bear it all this color right here On my lips now is 915 Blushing Beige, and it has it kind of looks like Burial, but it has more of like a pinky um, undertone to it, so it has a little bit more color. Um, I guess beige, the a blushing beige. That's I guess that really does sum it all up. And um, I would probably be for my complexion. Um, this is a lot more wearable for my complexion. Um, it kind of reminds me of Prime de Nude. Creme de Nude actually reminds me of in between Bear It All and um, a blushing beige. Of course, um, Creme de Nude is a MAC um, kind of lipstick that I'm trying to dupe it with. But anyways, this is it right here. On my lips is um, 920 Nude Lust. So this is really um, kind of comparable to... Uh, the blushing beige, the recent one that I just showed you, um, it actually, it doesn't have that pinky, um, blushing undertone, like, blushing beige has, it's more of a nude. So, again, this is 920 Nude Lust, and you can even see it in the pot, or in the stick form itself, that it's more of, like, a brown nude. Next up we have Truffle Teas, um, 930 Truffle Teas. This is, um, I really do actually like this color now that I see it on camera. I can't really tell when I'm looking at um, my mirror because I've been like trying on all these nude lipsticks. But it really is like a very nice nude. Again, this is um, Truffle Teas. This kind of has more of a like, I want to say taupey color. That's that right there. Ooh, on my it. lips right now is 935 Sin Amon. Like, straight up, it's like Sin as in Sinner, A, and then Amon. It's so cute. They, like, come up with these cute names. Anyways, um, this one is more of a, like, taupey, I want to say, like, brown taupe. Does that make sense? I don't know, maybe not. A brown taupe nude, I guess. So this is the color in the pot itself, or in the stick form itself. It actually... Kind of looks like, maybe not, okay, never mind, I, I thought it looked like the packaging itself. The packaging is so cute, right? Okay, so on my lips now is, um, nine, four, I almost, I don't know why I only said six. 
um, 9.45 Stormy Sahara. And it is like this peach. It almost kind of reminds me of Warm Me Up by MAC. It's a matte finish. Um, of course, this is not a matte finish. This is more of like a creamy um, satin finish. Um, it is more of like a peachy nude. Okay, so then it jumps ahead to like this more deep um, brownish nude. And um, this is in 950 Untainted Spice. This kind of also reminds me of my Wet n Wild um, Mocha Lipstick. And the Mocha Lipstick is again, it is a matte. Um, again, it is Wet n Wild. And it is like the little silver tubey lipstick. Let me see if I can find it. Or maybe it's not silver, just kidding. It's a, the black one. So it reminds me so much of it, just more again of a satin creamy texture. And then it uh, really does jump off like the nude radar, but it is more of a muted uh, mocha color. And again, 950 and Tainted Spice. I'm in love with this shade. Um, this is hella off the nudes. This is not even a nude, but it probably is just a muted nude, I guess, um, of like a more deeper red. Um, of course, this looks more red than it looks like a brownish nude. I don't know, because the name is 955 or 955 Espresso Expose, and it looks, on the packaging, it looks more of like a, I don't know, like a chestnut color, but... On my lips, it's more of a red, like a burgundy. My hair, it's my hair on my lips. And then again, I told you, or I mentioned that my lips are sort, um, sort of pigmented, so my lips kind of already have like this um, mauvey plum color to my lips. So it is going to show up differently on me than it is on you or anybody right. else. So let's go ahead and roll on to... The more of the review on these lipsticks so there you have it there are the swatches on uh, the, my lips again my lips is pretty pigmented um as far as um it being like mauvey purpley because um again it's not going to show the same on me like it is on you or on other skin tones so it, it, is, it doesn't always complement uh my skin tone as far as the like bare nude like the bare doll one that one was like freakishly scary um yeah, that like, dude, that's like lighter than my skin tone in general. But anywho, um, overall, I do love the textures of these lipsticks. Um, I like the color Sensational Vivids. Let me grab another one. Like this one right here. Oh, God, this one's in Fuchsia Flash, in case you're um, wondering. It's super bright. Like these freaking, look at this packaging. It's really nice. Anyways, yeah. Um, the textures of them or the finishes, again, I mentioned earlier in while I was swatching them, are very creamy. And they come off or they lay on my lips as a satin finish. Some people say that they kind of like go on matte. I kind of just want to stick to satin because they're super creamy when you apply them. So they're more of a satin than they dry off matte. Um, they probably dry off matte if you wear a lip liner, which again, um, or not which again, but which I highly suggest using with these, um, especially if you want more of a color payoff or if you want it to kind of pop a little bit more than normal. If you're um, like me and your lips are pigmented as well, um, these lipsticks won't show on you. Like a lot of them won't show on you or they'll show the same color. Like there's like three shades that look the same. Yeah, so a lip liner would definitely help um, with pigmentation. I think they're pigmented on their own, but again, if your lips are super pigmented, just like mine, um, okay, I don't want to say they're super pigmented, but my lips are pretty pigmented for these specific, um, lipsticks. A lot of these lipsticks are actually dupes for a lot of, um, special or limited edition lipsticks from MAC. I noticed that, um, like, there's, like, Tenacious Taupe, like, was a dupe in here. I forgot which one it, um, was a dupe for. I think it was Cinnamon. I think it's actually what's on my lips right now. So, um, if you weren't able to get Tenacious Taupe, I believe that was in, like, their holiday collection or whatnot, um, this is a dupe for it. Um, there's other nudes like Creme de Nude or whatever. Um, it's definitely comparable to like the second color, which is uh, Blushing Beige, or the third color, which is Nude Lust. So these are very inexpensive, good quality um, lipsticks. I really highly suggest these for 
a lot of you guys that are kind of like coming up with your makeup collection or just kind of want a nude but don't want to invest in like a high-end nude. I haven't posted this video up um, or after New Year's. I hope you have a great New Year's and I hope to see you in my next um, videos and I hope you guys get a little bit more interactive with me. Go ahead and comment down below. Send out your requests. Um, I know that someone requested for a makeup collection video. I don't have my makeup like stored in one area because my room is just a mess. Um, and that's been mentioned to me before in my videos before as well. So yeah, I don't know where to put my stuff right now. Like everything is everywhere. So I mean, if you guys are okay with that, and I would do the um, the re not review the makeup collection video. But as of right now, like everything is just everywhere. So I don't even know where to start and where to. Happy New Year's, my lovelies! Thank you for um, being my loyal subscribers. Don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Go ahead and like my Facebook page and my. Uh, Instagram or follow my Instagram and follow my Twitter because again I am more active on those accounts than I am on YouTube I, like if you really want to contact me or if you really want to see some videos that's the place to um, hit me up on. Bye!